So yeah, the nigga Most Def. Shout out to Most Def, man. Most Def is definitely one of my favorite rappers. The original Pretty Flacco. Yeah. You know? That's, you know, he Flacco. really... The original the Pretty original Flacco. Flacco. Yo, yeah. Most is definitely one of my favorite, like, artists in general. You know what I mean? Like, the homie do poems. He act. I mean, he even do stand up. Talented. Yeah, he one of my he writes shit. He one of my my favorite like artists, entertainers. But um, so I guess he put out a challenge, a battle to basically like he a battle anybody type shit. And um, Lupe Fiasco responded, y'all. So what y'all think? Me personally, if that battle had happened, uh, most stuff probably would have lost his man, you know. That's just, that's just me. That's just my opinion. I fuck with Lupe Hart, man. Yeah, like, I do. He the hardest coming out of Chicago, as I said before. Like, my personal, look, you take a pill break, and they both, both the Wild Warriors, man. They both knowledge, better, you know what I'm saying? They definitely drop jewels. Uh, I, I think it'll be a nice little funny battle. I mean, he's just trying to get Oh, he's still trying to get You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. It definitely be a good battle. Yeah, I would love to see it just for the just for the culture. It pushes the culture forward. It's conscious rap, so like, yeah. how how would they even go about that? Right. Like, it's, so it's conscious rap. So like, what 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 they gonna talk about? Who's the most in depth? You know. So dig this, dig this. I was watching this. Uh, this no, it wasn't YouTube. It was this documentary on Netflix. All right, and it was this Ice T joint. I encourage all y'all to watch the Ice T joint. Um, it's about rap, and this shit is probably the best documentary about hip hop as a culture. You know what I mean that I've ever seen. Um, and KRS One talked about how the slaves, when they put you down on the auction block, now we're gonna get the history lesson in here. I like history. When you go down on the auction block, first of all, y'all might not know when y'all talk about Wall Street and New York City, the stock exchange, the first stocks and bonds was Africans. African slaves. Anybody who's seen Hidden Colors, if you haven't seen Hidden Colors, make sure you watch Hidden Colors. They'll show you the pictures. All the information is right there. Anyways, the prisons are still under the stock exchange to this day. Anyways, so basically what was happening was on the motherfucking um, on the stock exchange, when they went to sell a slave, they would try to like talk about the defects so if a slave had like a bum leg or messed up arm or was missing like any body part or was anything that slave was imperfect was going to impede his ability to do work that slave was like so in a group they were sold by the dozens so that's where that whole term and where black people talk shit and your mama this and this that and the third comes from people playing a dozen that's how KRS one broke it down well, all the slaves would basically talk shit about each other to demean the value so they wouldn't get sold. So, that shit just basically evolved into a part of the hip-hop culture where it's like, I'm going to basically tear you down. You know what I mean? Like, but now it's seen as an art. So, what y'all think about that? I mean, are you saying, like, with how, how, how we think about it as in hip-hop culture? Like, I mean, just, just in as general. As in battle rap? Yeah, I mean about knowing that it comes from like us tearing each other down so that we wouldn't get sold and shit, or be sold by the dozens on the auction block. Are you saying like with how 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 we think about it as in hip hop culture? Like I mean, just, just in as general in battle rap. Yeah. Me personally, for the hip hop culture, is it just competition. That's all. Competition. Like, yeah, the better. The better you could sound, like going at this man and making him like, like be little in this man, then you know the the more like you could take his fans over. That's mm -hmm. all. It's, it's winning fans over. Like it's it's business too. It's it's business just like the stock market. So it's oh like, yeah, that's, yeah, it's, that's it's, it's all deep business. Way to look at it. So what y'all think about this whole Drake Meek Mill thing? Since that's what's popping right now, or was popping and shit. That I think he. Meek lost his fans. I done seen motherfucking obituaries for this nigga Meek Mill's career, like saying it's a rap. Like, what y'all think about that? Like, I obituaries. haven't, I haven't listened to Meek Mill since Off Women, bro. So, 
Like any mixtapes, any albums he released since he been put on. Like um yeah, I listen to him on satellite radio when I'm missing my yeah. car. Like, but he can rap. But he, yeah, exactly. He, he can rap, rap but he he rap. is not hip hop. Like this is a hip hop battle, and he's he's a rapper, bro. There's a difference between rap and hip hop, man. But what about his points? Right. The ghost writing shit. I mean, I downloaded some quick Miller shit too, and it sounded a whole lot like Drake. When you just like you my in fucking industry, Nicki Minaj sound, just like Safari, but that's another fucking subject. Bro. When you're in the industry, you know what I mean. You're, you're surrounded by a bunch of talent. You know what I mean? A bunch of people that who could put input into your music. You know what I mean, make you sound better. It can involve you. You know what I mean? Yo, <laughs> I ain't hear him. What he say? He said he said Nick, Nicki Minaj sound like Safari, sound like Safari and Drake. <laughs> I mean. Niggas that have ghostwriting, you know what I mean? Remember last time he said something about Nicky, man, they censored the shit out of my show. He might want to stop talking about this guy. Fuck that bitch. What you mean they censored the show? Nah, they, they took that way the audio on that yeah, show when they played their trash ass fucking song. Oh, that shit was butt. Fuck them. That shit was butt. But yeah. But yeah, yeah bro, I don't know. I mean. Yeah, I, I mean, is, uh, bad motherfuckers that people think are the greatest. Upstairs, like, look at Kanye West. You know what I mean, people look at him as a legend. He had a go. He had a few ghostwriters. He had Big Sean and Consequence as a ghostwriter. Pusha T ghost ghostwriting for fucking uh, Kanye West. Who else? Um, he definitely had Big Sean. They don't even know Big yeah, Sean was like two years without even dropping the album. Um, Ti yeah, Ti had yeah, a ghostwriter. Yeah. Bob literally write Ti shit sometimes. You know what I mean, like. It's, it's just you say took, yeah, yeah, like Rick Ross. Rick Ross was in shit before Meek Mills and Wale. I'm gonna keep that shit cold, funky, man. Like it's it's like Rick Ross was ghostwriting for who? Nobody. He was like Wale and them boys oh, write okay. for him. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I, I listen to Wale. Wale, shit Wale, 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 Wale yeah, and the shit fucked up Wale. because it's like people Wale was ghostwriting for Flo Rida. Huh? He said it was Wale ghostwriting for Flo Rida. Dude, I almost threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Yo, listen. Yo, listen. <laughs> listen. Right, make white people it's just like, like, it's just like with shit. R&B shit, you know what I mean? Little do people know the dream write a lot of motherfuckers. Hell yeah. Songs, bro. And they shit on him, though. Hell yeah. They don't listen to him at all. Time out. I remember they listening at one him. concert. Yo, the dream. And the dream it was a bunch of niggas in there singing word for word all the dream shit. And there was a bunch of you shaper niggas, too. Yeah, I, I was going to make a fuck with the dream. Yeah, it's dope, man. Yeah. It's like shit. He is people, dope. A lot of people have ghost writers. Shit, Drake, Drake, Drake wrote shit for people. Drake was writing for Weezy at one point. Drake wrote a song for Alicia Keys. Nigga, like that too. So you know fucking, uh, what the hell is his name? He got his fake ass chain snatched out uh, of Detroit. Young Bird? Young yes. Bird. He wrote How to Love. He wrote Little Wayne How to Love. I believe it. He, nigga, he put hands on that shit. I thought Drake did that shit. This doodle ass nigga did that shit, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Don't be surprised of who, who's who writing this move. Mother. You know what I mean? I mean, not even Future. Yo, boys don't understand Future write a lot of IMP stuff too, man. He wrote Mass Sierra shit. He wrote Sierra shit. He wrote, he wrote that thing for, um. People definitely for, don't um, know that shit. He wrote Mass Sierra shit. That Rock Song. That L O V E. He wrote that, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For real? Yeah, he wrote that, bro. That's him. I mean... Why you think he got so much money, man? Yeah, listen. Damn, Ghostwriter, yeah. Ghostwriter, he'd be a great role. His music is buzzing on his own, but he's doing a lot of that. It's a piece of tune, man. Yeah, and a still, producer. Do you still get royalties after that? Nah. It depends, no, no, it depends on the agreement. It depends on the agreement. That, that much not. I know. It depends on the agreement. Once it's sold, it's sold. It's not even... Hell yeah. But yeah. yeah. Like, a, lot a lot of Ghostwriters, man. Some of the fact that they own... Meek Mills need a fucking ghostwriter. Maybe he a fucking pop. <laughs> the dude named Mad Skip. Yeah, the dude, he come up with a song yeah, every year. Yeah, I heard about Skills and Arkham. Yeah, Look, nobody even listened to it. Skills and Arkham. Yeah, Skills and Arkham. Yeah, Skills and Arkham. Yeah, Skills and Arkham. You ain't gotta listen to me, man. I don't give a fuck. If I'm getting a check cut, you're listening to me, and I'm getting paid for it. Yeah, well, exactly. well, I don't face you sitting behind shit. I don't have a, like, thing was, me personally, I don't got a prior problem. I don't give a fuck about being a star. Give me the check. Right, Seriously. Right. True story. So. 
Yeah. Nigga, I'd rather be. Yeah. Drench the whole thing is when. Uh, you know, if you sit down here and rap with some street stuff in this, in this ghost right here, then I have a problem. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, true that. Cause then, like, I mean, like, if you're just an artist fan and somebody got a hot song and they don't feel like they, they should perform it better than you, man, you don't like Do that business, man. Do Definitely do that business. Do that business. Uh, business Alright, so it's a story that uh, Meek put out in. <laughs> His uh, this song, his old weak ass diss record. I didn't even hear that. Shit. Well, basically, he had a line about uh, Drake getting pissed on mm-hmm. by one of Ti people. No, nah, it wasn't a line. It was a uh, tweet. Damn, there, like uh, tweeted. Yeah. He's still, right, he, right, he's right. still Twitter uh, fans. I don't know how to spell it, but there's a lot of folks that say that it is. It's, it's, it's true. It's official. I mean, that a girl. Again, girl. You're not listening to Drake because he's a gangster. You know what I mean? He just makes good music, but as a man. I don't want to urinate on you or even urinate next to you. The word. Uh, he he got to check himself. He got to check himself up that. You know what I mean? So if he's allowing men to urinate on a man, or he can worse put it in a uh, 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 a container or something to throw it at him. Man, you know, that's what they do in the yard, man. That's called a drive-by, man. You know what I mean? You're in the streets, man. You don't, you don't do that, man. In other words, Whatever little bit of street cred he had running through the sticks, man. Them niggas need to check Dumb. that car ASAP. In other words, he's get, he, they looked at him as a bitch, but um, the fuck was I about to say, man? I forgot what the fuck I was about to say. Go ahead. Say what you're about to say. Yeah, yeah, that man, that threw you off. I thought, I thought oh, oh, nah, nah, nah. Listen, this is what I want to say, Matt. They was um they interviewed Joe about this shit, and um Joe was like, man, ain't no comments, and he said no comment, and he's laughing and shit when they asked him about it. So you know, who oh, Joe? Yeah, cause you know it was one of the Ti peoples. They said they was at a movie premiere and they asked Drake to get out the seat or whatever. And he ain't want to get up, so dude, no more, just whipped the drain out and started pissing on him. Oh shit. <laughs> Wow. That's not the story that I heard, nigga. That's the story I heard, I think I heard the show on The Breakfast Club. Shit was that they basically, motherfuckers was um, at a movie premiere, like like you said, mm-hmm. but some shit happened and they had to go. They was outside type shit and niggas was peeing and shit. And then, I mean, motherfuckers seen him peeing and, he, and then he was pissing the nigga like on accident in the process of moving type shit. Nah. But it was like, it was no beef, no harm, no so foul. So he backed out on this nigga. Damn. Oh, that's fucking... Fucking linked on this nigga. Alright. That's just right, that's yeah. way fucking that's, different than what I thought. That's disrespectful, bro. That's like, alright, now I gotta shoot your ass. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. But I'm just saying, that kind of confirmed it if, if one of the T.I. people said they didn't interview Joe. TMZ interviewed Joe, asked him about it. Yeah. He laughed it off like, man, no comment. It was laughing. That confirms it? Right? Man, you got me? Joe, to Joe, me? Joe, Joe, Joe can't be talking, man. I'm hearing some things about my man Joe. We're not gonna get too much into it, but they said my man Joe on a fence, man, doing some wild, dumb shit. So. Yeah, like, he like, he like, like, little, like little boy pussy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he talk about getting, he talk about Drake, I mean, Drake getting pissed on, man. He talk about this nigga down there been finagling with the, uh, with the trans man. What? Uh, he said finagling. I mean, he, he do, he, he do live in Atlanta, bro, so I wouldn't be surprised. What the fuck yeah. is finagling? Moving on. So, uh, in Detroit, 